Hey guys, it's Randy. I'm back today with the Star Wars Galaxy Box from Culturefly. If you're curious what's inside of this one, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So today I've got the uh, Star Wars Galaxy box from a company called Culturefly. They do a bunch of these um, themed boxes um, and they do them quarterly. They do uh, boxes for Friends and Supernatural and DC comic superheroes and just all different kinds of uh, themed boxes. I decided to try the Star Wars Galaxy box uh, for the current summer, uh, I think it's the August shipping quarter um, that's going on. So I've got this one um, here today and I thought we'd check it out and see what's inside. If you're curious, uh, this box is um, depends on how many of them that you order as to how much they cost. Um, I ordered just a single month instead of doing, say, a um, a semi-annual or annual plan. I did a one-quarter plan. The one-time box uh, price is $52.99. If you go up to a one-year prepaid all up front, um, it go, comes down to $44.95 a box. Uh, so you get a pretty significant discount if you buy um, like an entire year all at once. So if we uh, like this box, then I may go ahead and just buy a year and keep these coming each quarter. But let's check it out and see if it's any good. Uh, and so just as you can see, um, this box is really, it's uh, decorated all over, or printed all over. you got this uh, cool cantina front scene here, um, a scene there on the side, you've got the back of it, um, sort of the same thing on this side, and then um, on the underside of it, just like on the top of it, is a Star Wars Galaxy box. Um, there is no tape on this one, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Uh, we'll just pull out the first item. These do have themes also, these Star Wars Galaxy boxes. I think the theme of this one's Tatooine, um, which would make sense with the cantina, but I'm not 100% sure. So the first item in here is interesting. It's a Star Wars um, canvas art print. I'm gonna move this down. It looks like just uh, like some um, writing that you would see on the wall of maybe like the cantina, kind of like here on the... Um, I'll hold it up again. The top of the cantina, there's some writing in some weird uh, language that's there. So this looks like some of that writing. And this actually um, slides down so you can sort of see it all. But again, it's just um, a canvas art print um, of some of the sort of decoration from the cantina. So we got that item first. Set that right there. Um, our next item, we'll reach in. We got um, a set of the Cantina Han coasters. So here is uh, um, pictures of inside the Cantina, it looks like, on some cork-backed um, Star Wars coasters. Pretty cool item. I don't know how many items are in here. It seems like there's quite a few though, I'll be honest with you. I do know there's a t-shirt or a wearable because it does ask for your size uh, whenever you order these. Um, we've got the ice cube tray factions symbols. So if you're familiar with uh, Star Wars, these are the rebel and imperial symbols. And it's a silicone um, um, ice cube tray. So pretty cool. You just uh, freeze these and they come out in the shape of your favorite uh, faction within the uh, Star Wars universe. We'll set that one there. Let's see. Uh, there's a big item in there. We'll save that for a little later. We have a Tatooine Scavengers, the Jawas um, bottle opener. I like this bottle opener, it's pretty cool. I like the Jawas, I think they're funny. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's see, here's something that's fabric. Um, we got a, oh, a tote bag with a zipper on the front of it here. It looks like this is, this must be the Moss Eisley Cantina um, edition of the Star Wars Galaxy box because everything is Moss Eisley Cantina. Here's Moss Eisley Trading Company uh, Galaxies bag, so special edition for the Galaxies box. Pretty cool shopping tote bag. You could put your books in here or uh, camera equipment or whatever it is that you have that you might need to put in here. Set that right there. Uh, let's see, let's pull out this big box right here because it keeps <laughs> calling to me. We have an R2-D2 pencil holder. The R2-D2 pencil holder. I don't know about this one. I mean, who uses pencils anymore, really? I use a pen, but I only have one of them, not a whole bunch of them. Let's see. Pop 
pop this out. It's a little hard to pry out of there. There you go, the R2D2 um, pencil cup. It's a, uh, you could also probably uh, put other things in there, but R2D2 and pencils. We'll set that there next to uh, Mr. Buddha, our uh, channel mascot. I'm gonna take this box and um, put it to the side since I get it back together a little bit. Put that down here. Let's see, next item. Oh, also kind of big. Wow, we got lots of big items this month. Oh, this must be the uh, cheat sheet, so I'll set that there. This is a glass mug of the um, Cantina. I'm actually not gonna take this one out because it's uh, wrapped in styrofoam. The styrofoam will get everywhere, but you can see it's the Cantina scene there with some of the various aliens and the band in the background. So a glass mug that you could put in your uh, freezer and enjoy your, um, your ale from. Let's see, what else? There's the t-shirt. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Plus the t-shirt last. Um, we got an enamel pen of Obi-Wan Kenobi with his lightsaber drawn. That's actually a pretty cool um, pen. I actually like that quite a bit. Um, I don't actually wear pens, but uh, uh, pens, but that's a pretty cool one. And then uh, last item, it looks like it's the t-shirt this month. So this is a black with orange. It's the Figrin Dan. I know I just... Uh, just butchered that. The Figurin' Dan and the Modal Nodes live music nightly at um, Chalman's Cantina. And then <laughs> it's their tour shirt because on the back are the different places that they went. And if you notice, uh, there are uh, planets that have been marked out that apparently have been destroyed by the M Empire. So pretty cool shirt. It does have the three quarter length sleeves. I don't normally wear those, but this is a pretty cool shirt. I'll probably wear this one. Um, and if you're interested in this box, also I'll mention these shirts come in a very big variety of sizes from extra small all the way up to I believe 5X. So you just uh, choose no different price for any of the larger sizes. They're all the same price. So very cool um, t-shirt. Let's see if we uh, missed anything inside the box. Um, just the silica. And inside the box, it's also printed, as you can see. So pretty neat. And let's look at our cheat sheet and see what we have. So we got the Raglan tea, it says. The Moss Isley tote bag. The Cantina coasters. Our R2-D2 pencil holder, for those of you that still use pencils. Uh, we got the Obi-Wan and epoxy enamel pen our Jawa bottle opener, our ice cube trays, our canvas print from the very beginning, and the glass mug from the cantina. This was the summer 2022 box from, from Culture Fly, and it was, uh, it was themed Tatooine, but it really seems to be um, all of uh, the Moss Eisley cantina for the most part. Um, so very cool box uh, from Culture Fly. I'm interested in what you guys thought of the box. Um, drop me a comment down below and let me know. I think I like this one enough that I'll probably buy a year of these and just do these once a quarter for everybody and you can see what comes in them. Um, and if you're interested in buying um, these boxes, let me know and I have a um, discount code that I can send to you. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll send that out to you. Um, so there we go. We got a pretty good uh, variety of items uh, for around the kitchen and around the house. Um, all Star Wars themed this time. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right. So if you liked this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you would, subscribe to the channel and click the notify bell once you do so that you find out when new videos come out. Um, I'll be putting out more videos here in the coming weeks with uh, additional boxes and other material uh, from around my life and my life's hodgepodge. Um, so until I see you again on the next video, take care and be well.